Hi, I'm Shanice, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics literally ever, and that is the inner child. The way I want to start this off is by letting you know that you have an inner compass within you that knows all the directions to go for your life, for your path, for your journey. And that inner compass is the part of you that you're probably most disconnected with. Most people are. <laughs> and that is your inner child. When you were a child and you just knew certain things and you would just have this, this passion to like do something specific, but your parents, a lot of the times, like parents diminish what children say because they're children and they don't know anything yet, you know? I got a lot of that as a child and I know many people that I know have. That's basically telling the child, you are wrong, what you are is wrong, who you are is wrong. So what do we do? We stop showing that. We stop showing ourselves to other people or the people who said that to us. What happens is we disconnect from, there's fly, from our authenticity. We disconnect from it. We wear a mask. We're not being who we actually are. We're being who we think other people want us to be. And most people go throughout most of their lives or even their whole lives living for other people, not realizing that there's this, this void inside them for a reason and it's because they're ignoring their inner child. So many people are disconnected from their inner child because of traumas and because of neglect and because of bullying. We feel so ashamed and we want to hide who we are, not realizing that who we are is just purely love. Children are so smart and they know things. I've seen stories where they know things and their parents don't know how they know it. It's because they're in tune with their intuition. Humans are naturally, we have these abilities, but they're so suppressed because everyone thinks they're crazy. Everyone, you know, we're just, seen as crazy as children usually if we express like our spiritual gifts or even our creativity or even just simply talking and that is extremely traumatizing for a child for a soul for anyone it doesn't matter the age it doesn't matter at all the age but it usually starts at childhood your inner child has a passion you may not even know what it is. You may think, oh, I'm supposed to have a passion and think, hmm, what should my passion be? Or you just go off of what you were told over and over again as a child or what you told yourself over and over again. So it's just like a habit. That's not what you actually want. If you feel an ick, in your stomach, at your job, at the school you're going to, listen, listen to it. It's there for a reason. Do not mistrust your feelings. Your feelings, your emotions are the number one communicators. This is the main way your body communicates with you about what you want, what you need, what you need to change. Like each emotion, has a purpose. As children, we're taught to be ashamed of our emotions. We're taught to not feel them because we don't have a reason to, or we're not that hurt, or we're not going through that bad of stuff. We're shamed for feeling what we feel. So then what do we do? We don't feel. We're disconnected from our feelings. So we go throughout lives disconnected from our feelings. Some people go heartless. Some people actually go the opposite <laughs> and become extremely, extremely empathic with no boundaries. 
and they just continue getting hurt over and over and over again and they don't know why they don't know why they're playing out these patterns that were built through programming childhood programming your brain isn't you your brain is an organ and it works for you your brain gives you thoughts just automatically based off of past experiences based off of opinions belief systems values all of that so it's very limited what your thoughts are very limited not open-minded at all your brain is not being run by you you can notice your brain thinking so you're not your brain so that can set you free if you can master noticing your thoughts instead of being consumed by them noticing your emotions instead of letting your emotions control you once you become the noticer you have the power back again you're not shaming well you can still shame from being a noticer but you shouldn't <laughs> you should just notice it accept it be patient with yourself be kind with yourself acknowledge the pain you went through feel that hurt throw a tantrum in your room like no one's gonna see you throw a tantrum throw things punch pillows like do cry your eyes out for hours i don't know like just even laughing laughing is a release just laugh like a maniac <laughs> like, it's releasing is needed because your body your body is storing all of that trauma that your your childhood self went through it's all in the body because we didn't allow ourselves to feel it we pushed it down and that is what's affecting so many people is this hidden trauma and not a lot of people know how to heal the easy gateway to that is the inner child one way that I connect to my inner child because I did when I first started hearing about this like I didn't know how or like what to do so for me I notice the times that my inner child wants to speak to me to me the most is when I want to distract myself when I want to just be on my phone when I want to play on my laptop when I want to smoke a bowl like you know anything to distract my mind because my mind I don't know it just makes me uncomfortable and that that uncomfortable feeling is my inner child saying hey I need comfort hey I need attention hey I need love and when I don't give in to the distraction when I give myself that attention when I give myself that time of day that energy that pa compassion that love I feel it I fill my own void and I feel heard I feel seen by myself and I've never felt that before. I went 21 years on autopilot. I went 21 years not, not comforting myself when I was going through so much and I needed that comfort. So another thing that I do is I think back to the times when I needed comfort the most and when I craved it the most from other people and I literally out loud I talk to my younger self I tell her what she needs to hear and when I do that when I like visualize that when I create that in my mind I literally feel that inner child in me healing because I'm giving myself that love. I'm, I'm completing myself. It's like, the more you heal, the more you just become more like how you were as a child. It's like, when you grow up, 
the world puts so many masks on you. There's so much fog. You don't know who you are. You're trying to find who you are in this outer world. When really, this outer world is the place where you lost who you were. So what you need to do is to take off the mask slowly for some people because some traumas are very, very hard to face. So some people really do need like professional care, but at the same time, the person you need is you. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I hope that you guys try it out or got some insights from my video. I'm sending you lots of love and healing. I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year, and an amazing life. I love you.